Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. And it's time for a recap of the Grammy Awards that were just given out last night as of the time of me recording this video. Recently on this channel, we did a a series of hopes and predictions for how the awards would go down. And now that they are actually out, uh, let's go over the list of wins and losses and uh, see how much excitement and disappointment uh, we can dig out of that yeah okay scrolling down we have the general field here uh let's see record of the year that ended up going to uh lizzo with about damn time um not my favorite in the batch i think i would have much rather uh, have seen it go to beyonce there or um Uh, Even Steve Lacey with Bad Habit or the Heart Part 5 from Kendrick Lamar, uh, Lizzo's track about damn time is catchy. It's groovy. Got a bit of a a funk and disco twist to it. It's uh, certainly far from the worst track here, but is it the best? I I think it's kind of far from that, given the field that we were uh, given for record of the year. Album of the year. Who did that go to? That is going to Harry Styles, Harry's House. Out of this batch, with Mr. Morale there. And with uh, also Beyonce right there and the Adele and the Bad Bunny all right there staring you in the face. We, we went with Harry's house. I mean, I guess it's the most agreeable record of the bunch. Uh, it's got its highs. It's got its lows. Um, you know, I understand some of the fandom around the album, but uh, album of the year with all those options. I don't think so. All right. Song of the year that went to uh, Bonnie Raitt. Just like that. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, uh, a lot of tough competition in this field. Uh, Not my personal favorite, Uh, you know, as far as picks here. Would have been more interesting to see it go to um, Bad Habit Uh, or even the 10 minute version of All Too Well, frankly. Uh, And you guys already know that I mess with Break My Soul and Easy On Me. And, um, you know, for as corny as the DJ Khaled album is, God did is a good track. And also again, right there, the heart part five. Um, I I guess I can say I'm really happy. It didn't go to ABCDEFU. Bonnie Raitt is an interesting and totally unforeseen pick for me. I guess I will say that best new artist uh, went to Samara joy, despite all of the uh, very tough competition in that field. I was mostly pulling for Damian J.D. Beck, but uh, good for her. Best pop solo performance went to Adele. Interesting to see that, it, you know, we had to go this far down to see a win for her. I don't know if she's going to be sweeping uh, this year, but nice to see her walk away with at least something because uh, 30 was a good record. Um, from there, uh, best pop duo and group performance uh, went to Holy Woe with the Bada Bop with the Buddha Bop. And a woman on holy. Seriously, though, it is a uh, it is a fun track. It is it is a banger and a half. And uh, out of this batch here, I think I would have much rather have seen it go to that than anything else. So um, we have a best traditional pop vocal performance going to Michael Bublé. That's uh, fine, I suppose. Best pop vocal album. Harry's House again, again over the Adele. I mean, I guess I preferred it to the Lizzo, but I mean, over the Adele? Eh. Best dance electronic music recording, uh, going to Break My Soul, uh, which I'm not surprised by. You know, Beyonce did kind of trend in that stylistic direction this year. Could there have been better nominations in this field? Yes, absolutely. But as far as what was like actually here, she kind of did kill it. Best dance and electronic music album also went to Beyonce. She is sweeping in... That field best rock performance uh, also went to Brandy Carlisle. Damn, uh, over the idols. Uh, very interesting, very interesting for sure. Also over the turnstile in this field, who I was really, really uh, pulling for because I think um, you know they had the uh, uh, the best record there. Um, let's see, best metal performance going to. Ozzy, uh, Degradation Rules, which um, I'm not really crazy about a lot of the uh, material off that new record, honestly. I, I would have much rather preferred it go to Turnstile. Best Rock Song, also going to Brandy Carlisle. She is just rocking her way uh, through these categories. Best Rock Album, also going to Ozzy? 
Patient number nine, God, the album is so badly produced and his vocals are so freaking overprocessed on it. They sound awful. I can't believe uh, they're giving it to that over, again, like the Idols record or even the Spoon album, but uh, whatever. The rock section is always a freaking disappointment anyway. Uh, we have the alternative, uh, best alternative music performance here. Um, did not go to Big Thief, which stinks, but it did go to Wet Leg, which is pretty cool. Uh, Chaise Lange is uh, is a really great uh, track. I love that one. That's a, a bop and a half. So um, oh, not not a, not a bad pick there. Uh, Wet Leg also walked away with the best alternative music album, which is sick, sick, sick. Uh, again, awesome if it went to Big Thief or would have been awesome, but um, it did not. Also Bjork uh, as well, but uh, Wet Leg is not a bad pick there. Uh, best R&B performance went to Money Long uh, in the midst of some very tough competition um, with Beyonce and Mary and Jasmine in the mix there, as well as Lucky Day. I don't know if uh, there were a lot of predictions that it would go too long, but uh, it did, uh, which is uh, kind of an interesting outcome there. Uh, best traditional R&B performance, Beyonce, Plastic Off the Sofa. Nice, nice, nice. She is sweeping. Beyonce sweeps again in the best R&B song category. Best progressive uh, R&B album, Steve Lacey. Nice. Okay, cool. At least Steve is walking away with something. Um, even though there's a lot of pop elements on that record, there's a lot of rock elements on that record, uh, to sort of, I guess, categorizing it merely as an R&B album, even a progressive R&B album. Um, is, you know, strange, I guess, for albums greater than 50% playing time, newly recorded progressive. Okay. Yeah, it's this is just such a strange category. But either way, cool to see Steve walk away with a Grammy that is much deserved for some great music on a great album. Okay, interesting. Best R&B album went to uh, Robert Glasper's Black Radio 3, which uh, I saw this morning. Chris Brown was very angrily uh going in on him on Instagram stories like who's Robert Glasper who's Robert Glasper uh, way more interesting artist than you you idiot good on Robert Glasper for uh, you know uh, that W there we, we, we applaud Robert Glasper for gracefully taking that W um, best rap performance going to Kendrick Lamar heart part five awesome amazing and well deserved best melodic rap performance going to Drake and Thames um, which, uh, I think I would have much preferred, um, you know, die hard. Uh, that track has actually grown on me quite a bit since I first heard it on the record, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Drake is going to sweep in a melodic rap category. I think that kind of makes sense. Uh, best rap song, uh, heart part five. Nice, 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 nice. Well-deserved. Thank God it did not go to DJ Khaled. Uh, very sad. It didn't go to push a T who I think also was, was very well-deserving in that category. But Mr. Morale is a great record, is a very good album. Uh, very good to see Kendrick uh, getting his flowers uh, while he's still alive and very much deserves them. Willie Nelson walking away with a solo performance uh, Grammy in the country category. That's nice. That's cool. Best Musica Urbana record. Uh, Bad Bunny is walking away with that. Very well-deserved on that one, though I think uh, he probably could have been nominated in... Uh, more fields, honestly, given the hype of that record and just how much a uh, cultural spread it had across the year. Best Latin rock or alternative album going to Rosalia Moto Mommy. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want to see. The last time she was nominated, we were pulling for her, which I, I, I don't believe it, uh, you know, panned out. But uh, uh, this time it did. And that's great. And that's amazing. And Moto Mommy may not be my favorite record from her, but it was still a very good album. And, uh, you know, in this field, deserving of the uh, the Grammy, I think. Best regional Mexican music album going to Natalia Lafourcade. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Grammy, also album of the year 2023, mind you, as well, in my opinion. If you have not heard this record, get on the goddamn Natalia train. You need to. Okay, who uh, got the non-classical songwriting W for this year. Uh, this one had some interesting choices in it. Um, Tobias Jesso Jr. Nice. Nice. I mean, those are a lot of bangers. With Come On Baby Cry as well. Man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this, this is an interesting mix. Thought it would most likely go to the dream, but, uh, but very cool. Very cool. Okay, production. Non-classical. Who's walking away with that? Harry's House? 
Harry's house for best engineered non classical. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess producer of the year non classical Jack Antonoff goes to our boy Jack goes to Jackie boy. Um, not too surprised about that. Um, yeah, not too surprised at all. Not too surprised. I mean, would have been cool. Dahi, all those Kendrick Lamar credits. A lot of bops in that mix. Uh, Boy Wanda as well. But, um, you know, uh, Jack is such a force. He's such a force. But yeah, good good for Jack. Good for Jack. And that is pretty much going to be it as far as the highlights that I want to go over in this list. But there you have it. The 2023 Grammys winner list. Uh, Those are my thoughts. Those are my reactions. Let me know yours down in the comments. You're the best. Love ya. Mwah. Anthony Fantano over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Grammys 65th annual forever.